Okay, so this Mr. Perry will probably be a tampering with evidence charge. These are evidence for court, Mr. Perry. We've told you that before. Uh, you gotta get out of my phone. You, you gotta fucking get out of my phone. Um, so I was in the middle of recording this and he just shut it off. He's not, the only way he can know what I'm doing is hacking and voyeurism. Otherwise he wouldn't know I'm even doing this. So if I say something he doesn't like, he'll just shut it off. Um, that is, it, so this is tampered with evidence right here. So I'm going to let it play out and then I'll pick up where it leaves off. Trafficking involves rape. 
I'm not going to go get raped and starved. You know, you need to fuck off. You're caught. So I guess somebody got pretty aggravated. Um, the conversation kind of, kind of was like, why is he doing this? We hear that a lot. It's a lot of, why is he doing that to her? Followed by, how did she find out? They go together, hand in hand. Do you not get that correlation? Are you that slow? I get tired of your mental slow problem. And that doesn't just mean Charles. That is all of it. Because there's a bunch of you. You know, are you getting what you want doing what you're doing? It's not just been a day or a week or a month of this. It's 10 years of it. Every day, all day long. Do the thing that doesn't work, even for you. It sure shit's not working for me. But it doesn't even work for you. When you do the crime to me, you get caught. When you touch a hot stove, you get burned. And then y'all run around, oh, I can't believe she found out, oh my god. Every day, all day long, damn it. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know why you woke up this morning and thought it would be any different than it was yesterday. And the day before that, and the day before that, and the day before that. People don't like what you're doing. It's repulsive and disgusting to all normal people who can't even imagine what is wrong with you that you would do something like that. 0.1% of the population thinks like you. They're violent offenders, and that's what you are. Domestic violence is violent. You killed a cop. You tried to kill me. You tried to false arrest me. You have tried to kidnap me. Piper Tim. Tim with his piper who then the transponder and turns off. When you kidnap somebody, and he doesn't want anybody to know where they're at. And so now everybody, my friends and family know, if I just disappear, you did it. You're caught. So the guy's like, well, he just, you know, he, why is he doing this stuff to And the guy goes, well, you know, he just wants to be governor, and he uh, run for governor, and he just, and the guy interrupted him, and he goes, no, he is, there is no way he's going to run for governor. Well, I'll tell you why. He is in Oklahoma trying to starve someone, to, a woman to death who lives here, and trying to kidnap her. You don't go to another state and try to starve a woman and kidnap her if you want to be governor. And by the way, he's caught. And if he's too dumb to know he's caught, we're all talking about it, so he's caught. And he's too dumb to know that when you're caught, that is when you stop. He's loonier in the fruitcake. So, uh, he can't run for governor. He can't even manage his own life. Much less the state of uh, Texas. Where are you running anyway? Because you're always in Oklahoma. So we hear a lot of your constituents complain that you're never in Texas. And coming from a home of an elected official and running campaigns myself, let me tell you something. What matters, what's going to make you not get elected for anything at all, not even dog catcher, is you're not there. Because what people are talking about is they're complaining that you're not in Texas. You need to talk to him about this. You need to talk to him he's never here. So you're not going to win fuck, and it's your fault. It has nothing to do with this. Sometimes there are people who don't care if you're a fucking serial killer. They don't care what you are. As long as when they're sitting around their dinner table talking about what bothers them, and they want to talk to you about it, and they can't reach you, and you're not around, that's what will make them vote for the other guy right there. You're not around. You're not listening to your constituents. Power, my granddad said, is in serving other people. They start, they want to know that you're dependable. They want to know that you're responsible. They want to know that you're honest, that when they're talking to you, you look at them in the eye and you tell them the truth. And if you can't do that, you can't run. You might run, but you won't win. And then it's your fault. You lost your own election. You weren't there. So we hear that your people complain about that a lot. I'm complaining about it. Get the fuck out of my life and out of Oklahoma. I don't want you. Nobody invited you here. I move two times to get away from you and have no fight. I don't like to fight. Most people don't. I'm sorry that you do. I'm sorry that your life is so boring, it's so pathetic, it's such a loser life that you like to fight. I don't get that. I don't even, fu I fucking don't get it. <coughs> Most of us don't understand. 99.9% of the population that's not a violent offender cannot understand what is wrong with you people. That makes you want to be what you are. That you would traffic a woman and make her get raped every day. And starve her and beat her. That's what trafficking is. Now, whichever one of you keeps saying, I just wish I could talk to her. 
Uh, I'll beat the hell out of you, first of all. Second of all, when I say no, I'm... Listen, I'm not a subservient type of personality. Okay, so I guess that's where he shot it off. So hang on. Okay, so I'm not a subservient type of personality. Um, you mostly just piss me off. Um, so, uh, th there's a reason they pulled me into this, is one is I'm willing to sleep in my car and not eat and bathe for six months. Um, uh, but I'm gonna gripe and bitch about it. Nope, I mean, it's not like I like that. And, uh, what you did is piss us off. So we ended up getting a lot of intel during that period of time. The more broke I am, the longer you're invading my privacy, the more you contact me, the more information we get. Stuff like this right here. TPD did not get that. This person was so outraged and upset by what you said you were going to do to me, we had no problem getting it, Mr. Perry. Do you not understand how offensive your conduct is to everybody else? It's highly offensive. It's inappropriate. So, the people, if you, the guy said, you know, well, why is he doing this to her? And the other guy is like, well, he just wants to be governor and, and, and he just needs her to, and the guy stopped him and he goes, no, he is not going to be governor. If he wants to be governor, why isn't he in Texas talking to his constituents and campaigning? Because it is a loony and sick and insane for him to be in a state where he does not live trying to make one of the citizens of that state starve to death and kidnap her. You know, he's not coming up here and kidnapping someone. You can't, I mean, what is he thinking? Um, that's linear and a fruit. And then he's caught. And if he's too stupid to know that he's caught, uh, and then and, and too stupid to know that when you're caught, that's when you stop. Not that you would want to do this anyway. Then he cannot run for governor. He cannot manage his own life much less a state. Um, if he wants to run for governor, he needs to get the hell out of Oklahoma, go home to his family and to his constituents and go campaign. And so I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. Um, this, Mr. Perry, is your first false arrest, kidnapping, coercion, and you did. You, took, you carried out the threat. This was since 10-29-2015. You carried it out in January. I mean, you... you so I've let my friends and family, look, if I just disappear, Charles did it. Every, a lot of, everybody knows you've been stalking me. Uh, people feel bad for me. They hate you. They feel bad for me. That's why we get the help you don't. That's why we get stuff like that right there. Okay, so tonight we find out if she was, she was supposed to go to, oh, we got this right here. We, were, we wanted her delivered to Larry in January. We took her car. And we thought she would call. Why would I call? Why the fuck would I do that? You made me destitute, you made me desperate, and you thought I would call and go, oh, okay, now I'll be coerced. Now, what you did is piss me the fuck off. You pissed my guys off. The guys that get me this stuff right here, when you piss me off, you piss them off. Yeah, yeah, how's that working for you? Are you getting what you want doing what you're doing? You're spending a lot of money and a lot of time getting caught. And this was in 2015, and that was the first that you know of. And I've got, there's like 800,000 to a million of just like that. Of everything you guys plan, and everything you guys say, and your names, and your code words. And Charles Perry acts like he thinks it's the other way around. Name one of my guys, Charles. Name one of the guys that got that, and got that puzzle to me. Name one. You can't. Name our code words. Say our code words. See, we're saying, yours. who's Muffin Man? That's a nickname. Who's Betancourt? Who is Tim? What's he to you? Who's Monique? Where's she today? What's what's Hansel and Gretel mean? What's Rumpelstiltskin mean? What's Ratatouille mean? Pin the tail on the donkey. Huh? I mean, we have all that. I just showed it in the last podcast. So, name, say one of our code words. Quote one of our meanings. You can't. Not even one. Our guys will not call you back. He said, here's what I told Charles Perry in 2020. And I'm not going to repeat myself for him. That's what I said. I've shown him what I can do every day since. I've shown him what I can do before that. 
and I'm not gonna pick up the phone and take his fucking phone call and say it again. What are you gonna do when you're on stage, Charles, in a debate? You gonna make everybody repeat themselves for you? Yeah, you act like you can't understand what people say. It's very frustrating to have to deal with that. So, uh, yeah, we wanted to take her car away from her in Jan. We took her car away in January. She, that's when she was supposed to be delivered. And she went to the club. I did. I stayed in the club for five, six weeks. And cleaned the hell out of it. And they need. And they, there was some other stuff that need, worked that needed to be done around there. So I did it. And uh, stayed there. And then until, uh, you know, your waitress tried to frame me for a petty theft. <laughs> Um, I don't, you know, I don't steal. Paul, my boss, I've said this before. I had four grand sit in my account when she did that. She comes to me at 10 o'clock at night and said the drawer was short. Well, we don't count the money till the end of the night. So why'd she count it at 10? She knew I was fixing to leave. She was trying to catch me before I left. Yeah, we heard you talking about it. For it takes money out when she sets the money out at the beginning of the night. So I quit setting the money out. I started just, I just took the bag out of the safe and threw it on the counter and said, you set it up. Since you want to frame me for petty theft when I set the money up, I'm not going to set it up. You are. So, I mean, we heard you talking about it. So, you got caught. If we're talking about it, or if I change something that I'm doing because I know what you're doing, you're caught. And if you're too dumb dumb to get that, and that that's when you stop. Not that you should do it anyway. Uh, you can't do, you can't run for a dog catcher, much less governor. So, he's like, yeah, she just, she just did something else. And um, then she got a new car. Now we're trying to take that car and try to get rid of her school money and any other money she might have so she can't go buy a new one. Lucius is big on that, aren't you? Are you the one that talks about that? No, oh, we gotta get our, our driver's license. We gotta make a passport. We gotta traffic her. We gotta, you're caught too. If I have your name, you need to be shitting yourself. I'm, I'm not kidding you. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're into here. You had six years to get me to slip up, and you didn't. And then you had another six weeks to get me to slip up, and then you didn't. So is it working for you? Why not get up tomorrow and do the same fail tomorrow? The same fail that you've done not for a month, not for a year, but for ten years every day. Do it again tomorrow. I guess Charles wanted a... Well, I, she, we got her DoorDash thing cut off. I, I can still DoorDash without my phone service. It's not easy. It's very hard. But I found a way to do it. And uh, it's not a whole lot different than when I had cell phone service because y'all would jam that up or cut that off. So, you know, I find ways around things. But I'll tell you what, I'm, I have the kind of personality that a lot of things that would make most people crumble just piss me off. You can, you're going to get me swinging. And I have help. I have help the other girls don't have. I have help that won't call you back. You don't matter. I do. I matter. I've told you that since 2015. I said, you don't matter. I matter. You're about to find out the hard way what that means. You're going to see things you've not seen before. Yeah, I have help. So, I guess they had this conversation tonight. Right? We got that because you did that. You jammed up my... I was trying to... Um, I was trying to complete a DoorDash delivery. That's completed right there. You jammed up my app so I couldn't get the picture to load. The picture would not load. It never did load. So, we know that you did that, and that pissed my guys off. And they're like, oh, here's another one, Sam. They got that to me. You pissed them off. You pissed me off. You pissed them off. That's very specific, Charles. It's not your name on that puzzle, is it? No, it is not. Fabian and Hope intersect. They're not just in the same book or on the same page. They intersect. They're surrounded by the sadness and the fear you cause, and people do not like feeling sad or fear or stress or anxiety or feeling threatened, David. You are a threat. You make everybody feel threatened, and everybody wants you gone. So we can get what you said, because you've turned people against you, make people don't want to feel threatened. I don't want them to do to me what they did to her or Mike Neely. Get rid of them. Now, get rid of them to us doesn't mean the same thing as it means to you. When, we, when you guys say get rid of them, you mean like murder. When we say get rid of them, that means put you in jail. Two different things. Two different mindsets. Two different objectives. We're meeting ours. You're not meeting yours. You're giving us a lot of information, and I dare you. You come try to talk to me, whoever you are. I'm gonna sting out the fuck. I'm gonna sting out the fuck out of you, and I'll get you to say stuff you had no you didn't mean to say and didn't even know you said. 
until it's too damn late. I'm very good at it. Ask Officer Meter Maid. He pulls me over. Oh, I'm traffic. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on patrol. I'm not traffic. I can I can take police reports. And I'm like, okay. Um, let me just make sure I understand. Can you say that one more time? And I knew what he. I already knew what he was. I mean, I'm not stupid. Anybody knows that. I want him to say it twice for a reason. Because I'm sitting there going, we're going to go to court. And I'm going to make sure the court knows he understands his duties perfectly. So he explained it to me again. I'm not just traffic. I'm not a meter maid. I'm patrol. I can take a, a police report. Can you? So if somebody's harassing me, then you can take that report? Yes. But yet you're here being a meter maid. Because you're not asking to take my report. I just told you I'm the victim of domestic violence and economic abuse. And that's why you're pulling me over. And you're not going, well, maybe I need to get a report. Do you have a forensic account at TPD? You need to go over my finances. Because we have one. He's going over them. That's a form of domestic violence. It's a form of violence. It's economic abuse. Uh, what opened this case, I'm going to say to you one more fucking time, David. Human rights violations. David, you. You are the target of an investigation. Roswell Aliens did not get that to me in jail. We hear you go around to, oh, there's no cops. There's no cops. We can't find anything. We make sure you can't find anything, David. We're good at what we do. So who got this to me? Roswell Aliens? Go into court and tell the court you think Roswell Aliens got that to me in jail. Dude, I, I mean, that, that, I don't know what the hell you think. We don't know what, what cuckoo bird goes through your mind. Something, cuckoo, something not wacky. It's not, uh, I mean, if you're going to make these statements, prove it. Um, prove it. So when we get recordings, some intel is good, some intel is bad. We don't always know immediately. We're not going to wait and see after you do it. Because it's important that we get it beforehand to prove criminal intent, malicious of forethought, and premeditation, and we said it before. And you usually know that, and you'll do it anyway. Now, we're like oh, at a loss. It's so easy, it's not fair. Look what these guys do. They're caught. They act like they don't know they're caught. They're dumb dumb. That's what I was uh, said to, thinking to the police officer. You open the door, dumb dumb. I just walked in it. Um, I'm gonna use this. He had no idea what I did until after I explained it. Not a clue. He had no idea what I was doing until after I explained it. And now that's in the brief. It's in one of my briefs for traffic court. Um, he understood his duties perfectly. He explained it to me not once but twice. And he neglected his duties. He said, here's what my duties are. I'm not just a meter maid. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a patrol officer. I'm a oh, police officer. Well, right now, tonight, you're making yourself a meter maid. Because a meter maid can pull somebody over, run the tag, and ride a ticket. It's just the way it is. I'm sorry. Um, anybody can do that. I can do that. Anybody can do that. Um, where you become a police officer and not just a meter maid is taking a police report on harassment or stalking. And then investigate it. And handle it like a boss. And make everybody brag about you. What a great cop that you are. I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm so desperate to see a local impress me because he's a good cop. I want that. It makes me sad coming from where I come from, four generations of police, that I've not been able to do that in nine years of living in Oklahoma except for Mike and Lucky. And Mike and Lucky would be home right now being cops had TPD not just been a bunch of meter maids and had done their fucking job. People expect you to do your job. Citizens expect you to do your job. They just do. Silly us. Police are supposed to be police. I don't know, not crooks. Okay, so, you got this. Um, you're just the butt in. Always the wannabe, never the one wanted. But, you know, you're cruel. You're very cruel. I don't do cruel, I don't do creepy, I don't do weirdo, I don't do peep and tom, and I sure as shit don't do canned food guy. In the kitchen, I mean, yeah. So, we got that. The other thing that was interesting that we got was, uh... Yeah, if he can make her broken up, then she'll file a column. And then go be trafficked, and go be raped, and he can get his money. And he can pass it out to everybody on the list. I know I was trafficked, I know to who, and I know there's a list. And I know some of the people on the list. Any other victim able to say that? 
Any other victim have your code words and your names? Every other vic any other victim quotes you every day? It's not cops, it's Roswell aliens. Right, David? Did you tell people that? Do you actually, with a straight face, say that? I don't think it's sitting well with some. I think they think you falling down and bonked your little head on the pavement or something. Okay, so... What they said is they, she, they cut her phone off so she can't do her dash. They cut her ex-husband off. I guess he's having a nervous breakdown, somebody said. He screwed his ex-wife over, got caught, now he's having a nervous breakdown. Is that true? Is it? I, I don't understand. Why would, you know, I don't understand. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't fucking understand. Why? What the fuck? So, we kept saying, and we've tested it, um, that the money he was getting when he helped me was your money. So you're cutting off my money, but then I would have to call him and get screamed and yelled at and told him what a loser I am, and I don't want to work, and then you don't want to work. No, no, actually, I put in 61 hours door dashing, and I came out with $8 an hour. It's supposed to, she, everyone else is making 16 I got 8 Who might be causing that? Why might that be? I don't know, you're on the list, you tell me. And, uh, after begging, screaming, yelling, blah, 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 um, he would give me money to help pay my bills. Because he couldn't pay my bills. You know, if I'm making $16 an hour, working 60 hours a week, I should make, um, you know, enough per month to pay my bills. And then some. But when you have somebody trying to make you destitute so you're easier to traffic, and they're you know, jamming up your phone and then cutting off your phone and you gotta get creative with how can I do this and make money so that I can fucking eat and have food and shelter, my basic rights and needs. This is not a mansion. This is not a mansion. Somebody, uh, somebody commented on that, that Charles is a fucking, you know, he, there's a reason he's by himself. Um, it's not like he put her up in the Hyatt. It's not like she's, she's over at the Hilton. Um, she's in an old run-down bunker, basically. And uh, he knows where she is and he shouldn't. And he knows what she's driving and he shouldn't know. Only a stalker would know that. He's doing exactly what she says. Exactly what she said. Because why would he care? Why is he in Texas campaigning? Why is he up here worrying about what she's driving and how to take it away from her? Anyways, um... So... So my ex-husband uh, will give me money and then wants me to pay him back. Well, here's the thing. Charles owes me money. Charles cost me $1,700 a month in DoorDash that he took. Plus, he's getting billed $1,000 a day for using my body for his entertainment and his pretend love life. Plus $2,000 a day for doing that without my consent. The voyeur is bullshit. And he sold me. So I have some injury due to that as well. And all the harassment and corrosion, attempted coercion that's gone along with it. All I have to do is sue him. I'm gonna wait till he's in jail, then I'll sue him. Okay, because we're not gonna have another we're not gonna have another bot judge. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I did that. I actually did that. Oh, we're not gonna have another bot judge. We've got too many of those. Judge Cummings, Duck Hunting, and all that stuff. And Morrissey, well I guess I'll have to do a little better when I did deny her twelve ten thirty one then just say it was frowned upon. Mark, thanks for letting me know she's researching that now and about the file. Rate. That we heard, we had that conversation recorded too. So, uh, anyways, we're not gonna have it that, so we'll just wait till you're in jail and then I'll sue the fuck out of all of you, Larry. You included. Um, so, uh, the next thing is, um, the, the, the guys are like, okay, the reason he's acting the way he's acting, he's getting more and more irate with you, is because they promised him 25 grand. So he told people, I wish I had had her put the title of her car in my name like she wanted to so that you guys couldn't get it. Then I would just go get it and this would be over. As soon as you get the car, you think it's over. Right? Isn't that what you tell everybody? You're caught. Dumb dumb. Do you not know you're caught? If you don't know you're caught, when we're talking about it, you're not uh, mentally stable enough to run for governor. 
And if you can't tell that when you're caught, that is when you stop. Not that you should do this anyway. Then you're not mentally stable enough to run for governor. The guy said he's got a mental illness. You can tell. And it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. So I'm sorry, but he's not going to be running for governor. Because right now, he's showing symptoms that he's gone wacky. And he needs to be in the loony bin. But the thing is, he doesn't know that. Because he's wacky and he needs to be in the loony bin. That's the thing. But if he can't tell that he's caught, and that that's when you stop, when you're caught. If she's talking about it, and we're all talking about it, he's caught. And that's when you stop. Because you don't go to a state where you don't live and try to starve a woman and try to kidnap her and then run for governor. That's not what you do. You go to the state where you live and you want to be governor and you go campaign. And you leave everybody else the fuck alone. So you go at me, all you do is piss me off. You piss me off, you get you piss the guys off. So tonight I guess I was supposed to go to the club after they cut everything off. They cut my ex-husband out. And, uh, his help off. He's having a nervous breakdown, I hear. They cut, um, her ex-husband screwed her over and got caught, and now he's having a nervous breakdown. I'm like, I don't even know what to say to that. What do I have, what, what do you fucking say to that? But the guys are like, call him and see if he'll answer. Call him and see if you get a normal reaction today. Maybe it's a blood sugar. Um, or he's caught and he's upset about it, or, and he's on that list. And he's mad because you're not just going along with this trafficking thing and he can't get his money. We're just trying to see here. He testified. They said he came across like he's a... It didn't happen. It didn't help for Ernest and Dennis to testify because Ernest came across like an asshole. And Dennis did too, but not as bad as his dad. Mostly Dennis act like he still wants to testify. And, uh, is that true? See, we get recordings, sir. We don't know if they're true or not. You tell us. And prove it. Is it true? Do I know what happened in court? Did you have a court proceeding? Did they testify? My family testify? And thankfully came across like the assholes that they were being when they did that. He got caught screwing his ex-wife over and now he's having a nervous breakdown. Is that true? I mean, I don't... You prove it, you prove it out. How about that? So I was supposed to then go to the club and Rogers County was supposed to immediately arrest me the second I got on the property. Is that true? Then you are going to have your press conference tomorrow and go tell everybody what a great guy you are and how smart you are. Okay, so we're talking about it before so we can prove criminal intent, malicious of forethought, premeditation. Because I've not done anything illegal and the guys that give me all this information, sir, know that because they're, they're all over me making sure I'm safe as much as they're all over you. Okay? Any, any other victim able to do this? Why is it different when you do it to me? You just do not know, do you, do you, do you not figure this out? It's very, very different when you do the crime to me. Are you just not all there too? I wish I could talk to him. Wow, I mean, no, yeah, I, probably you don't. Probably wish, you probably would regret it if you did. Because I'm gonna, I'm, on, I'm always on, I think, when you start sting hopping, you just sting off. It doesn't, I mean, it's not something you turn off and on. You just do it. You just know how to talk to people. And if you're, if there's something you want to know, then you're going to get it. And they won't know you got it. Um, I could do it in my sleep. I've done it so much. The thing is, practice makes perfect. And you guys spent six years, you know, trying to sing on me. Um, how tall are you? What's your shoe size? How tall are you? What's your shoe size? How tall? Where do you live? What's your real name? What's how tall are you? What's your... Oh my god, um, stupid stuff, it, it was more, more than that, but just stupid, stupid stuff, and, um, once I'm talking to somebody that I know works for Charles, I'm gonna sting off him, I wanna find out what you guys up to tonight, what are you trying to do to me today, I have to survive, so if, if, if our guys don't know, or they didn't get it, or I wanna confirm what we got, then I'm gonna start talking to the people who pretend to be customers in a strip club that work for you, proxy stalkers or whatever, um, I'm going to talk to them like I would um, anybody that I'm going to sting off because I'm going to find out what I want to know just like that and you won't know this what I'm doing you'll have no idea you won't have any idea just like the cop didn't know what I was doing that 
as I'm getting him to tell me, and, and cops are smart. So if I can do it to a cop, I can do it to a schmuck in a strip club. So I'm telling him, uh, I will, I'll explain to me, I'm playing stupid, I'm stupid, I'm a stupid stripper officer, please tell me what you do, Dan, I didn't, um, please help me explain it to me like I'm a six-year-old. Well, I'm not traffic on patrol, which means I can take reports on other crimes, not just traffic. Okay, so like, if I'm getting harassed, can you, I mean, whatever I need to, you know, yes, ma'am, I can take a harassment complaint, can you? Okay, good to know, thank you. I'm going to put that in my brief. That you know exactly what your job is and you're choosing not to do it. You're choosing to be a meter maid tonight and nothing more. And anybody can do what you just did. By the way, anybody. Mr. Perry could probably even do it. Run my tags and ride to take it. And, uh, I want to see policing. I'm a victim of some very serious crime here tonight. And you don't give a fuck. And I don't understand that. You're showing some depravity of mind. In your approach to me this evening. Uh, this is like, actually, actually it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. You're showing some depravity of mine. I'm in some danger. And you don't care. And you're a cop. And you have a duty to care. So I'll see you in court. And thank you for the information you just gave me and have no idea what you just, what you just did. So, and it is in the brief. Um, he can't say he didn't know. He wasn't sure what his job was. He knew, he told me twice. Not just, I made him tell me twice. There's a reason I did that. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, wanted her arrested. Oh, they're gonna make sure she knows that if she doesn't, com if she's not complicit be in being trafficked, after Rogers County throws her in jail, he's gonna go in and talk to her. You're gonna do what we say, or we're gonna do the same thing that you do, we did to Michael. And the guys that told me Michael was drugged, and gave me the Fabian puzzle and all this other stuff, and told me this right here, what are they gonna do to you, sir? Yeah, you might want to think about that. Is what you're doing working for even you? Because it looks to me like it's working against you. And you guys get up every day and go, let's do the fail, same fail thing today. Let's do it again. The same things that failed yesterday, the same thing that got us caught yesterday, let's do it again. And we're like, oh my god. But the thing is, everybody else is getting very tired of that. And very tired of you, Charles. I don't like you. I left. Move the fuck on. Act like a grown-ass man. Because you can't be governor, you can't run for governor, if you're acting like a two-year-old. Act like a man. And a grown man. You, people want to know who they're voting for is responsible, dependable, reliable, honest. And you're over in Oklahoma violating someone's human rights. Something the UN would kick your ass out of. If they knew what you were doing, the UN gets all over that kind of shit. There's countries that can't be in the UN because they do shit like that. And um, it's it can be a threat to national security in two ways. One is the human rights violation, and some countries will no longer help you. Two is if they, if, you, if they find out you're violating human rights, and you are, or they're putting up with it. Number two is sex traffickers typically give money or have money associations and affiliations with terrorism these days. So which terrorism? Which Sarah's group do you support? With your money. Are you laundering money with them? Are you doing business with them somehow? Are you funneling money? You got something to do with... You got something to do with terrorists. Right? Because you got some people on you that are... Um... Pretty powerful people. When you contact me, we always get more trolls. Do you like that? Are you stupid or you just like getting caught? I don't care what you think. What I asked you to do is fuck off. I don't care what you think and I will never help you. And you bother me all fucking day with what you think and asking questions that you need to bother your attorney with and fuck off me. You're not paying me $500 to answer your questions and I won't answer them. You fuck off. Go to your attorney. Stop bothering me. Stop bothering me. You're not paying me 500 bucks an hour to answer your questions. You don't get to bother me with that. You're paying him, call him. He's not calling me and asking me shit, so he doesn't care. Get the fuck out of my phone. Get the fuck out of my life. The longer you don't, the more of this stuff we get. The more of this stuff we get, the easier it will be to get a conviction against you. You're going to bury yourself in it. 
you need to go back to Texas. Yeah. Tomorrow morning was supposed to be a big press conference. Right? Okay, well... Oh shit, you got caught, so you don't get to do your press conference, right? Yeah, I don't know. By the way, when I quoted uh, the whole Rogers County thing, I didn't quote Rogers County, I quoted you. Talking about when she gets to the club, as soon as she pulls in the parking lot, Rogers County is supposed to arrest her. So I've not quoted Rogers County at all. I'm quoting you guys. So be careful. I mean, you can quote Rogers County on the stand and say, you're supposed to arrest her when she uh, got to sensations. To, and uh, what for? what she do? I mean, everybody's trying to scratch in their head. I think that they're just trying to find something, like a witch hunt. I think David needs, a, just wants her, you know, he's used to calling up a cop and having somebody arrest him. And they just subjugate. And he's not sure what to do. But the thing is, David, if you're getting, if we're getting tipped off, uh, you don't control Oklahoma law enforcement. You just don't. Uh, someone else does. Who is that? Who is that? You think taking my car would change that? Uh, I think that would piss people off more. And remember, you're also getting told on. You're also pissing off people with a lot of power. And we're quoting you too. I mean, we just are. We have been for 10 years, David. Everybody would like you to just stop. Just stop. Charles, go home to your family and go camping. And just stop. Once you know you're caught, that's a good time to stop. Not that you should do this anyway, he said. Most people don't. Most people don't. So, yeah, they're going to have Rogers County throw her in jail on Wednesday night, and Charles is going to have his press conference Thursday morning. And get up and act like he won. And everybody gets their, their money, Ernest gets his money, everybody gets their money, whoever's on the list. And everybody's happy. But they're not. Everybody's actually not. They're helping us, David, not you. We're quoting you, you're not quoting us. Don't forget this. You guys get it confused, and you act like you think it's the other way around. We quote you, we have your code words, we have your people's names. It is not the other way around. And if that happens more and more and more, the longer I'm broke, the longer you invade my privacy, and the more Charles contacts me, and the longer my newbie's in jail. I am not to be broke. I am not to be broke. When you ain't broke, we get this. You make people mad. I am not to be broke. And you are not to peep, Charles. I'm not, I don't, my privacy is not to be invaded. When he said that, he said, when I said, don't invade her privacy, don't contact her and her family, and she is not to be broke, what I meant by that is those things are not options for you. I'm sorry you thought they were. This is what happens. We're going to use that to convict. The more we get, the easier that will be, dum-dum. I'm not repeating myself. You're going to have somebody during a political debate have to say the same thing for you over and over and over and over because you can't understand what people say? Golly, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. So if we get tipped off every time you guys try to do a false arrest and a pullover and all that stuff, please understand what that means for you, David, is you don't control Oklahoma cops anymore. I know you did for a long time. Right now, you don't. You pissed a lot of them off. You pissed a lot of them off going at me. You pissed a lot of them off killing Lucky Miller and framing Mike. You can live with your choices, right? You're some mean badass. I gotta pick on a woman. We all have a meeting. A bunch of guys have a meeting to make one woman fail. Fear me. Right? Bunch of men having a meeting to make one woman fail and you want us to fear you. I think the thing is, you can get up tomorrow and do the same thing you've done all these years since I moved to Oklahoma and not have to not have a fight and no drama and no problems. People don't like your drama and the problems you cause and the fear you cause and the sadness you cause and so they're telling on you. You're getting told on. You don't have our code words. You don't have our guys' names. We have yours. Do not get that mixed up again. And we get more of this the longer I'm broke. So you make me broke. That is not an option for you, Charles or David. So we get more of these. You're asking for it. You just asked for it. So don't get all flustered. And how'd she find out? Why is he doing that to her? Why the fuck are they doing that to her? How did she find out? Boom, boom. One right after the other. People don't like you. 
They don't like your cruelty. They don't like the way you make them feel. They don't, David. Everybody's sick and tired of this. Sick and tired of y'all. And they want it stopped. So they're helping us, not you. Alright? That's just the way that goes. Um, he said at one time, I'm, I'm not calling them and repeating myself for them. What I said is, stop it. If you don't want to get caught, stop. Stop giving us stuff to catch. And if it's good intel, prove, you know, we're going to prove it or you prove it. Or it's bad intel. Uh, doesn't mean anybody lied. It means we got some information that may be right, it may be wrong. But the thing is, is when you keep doing the same thing every day, it makes it more easier to prove it's right. So, uh, the guys were like, call your ex-husband to see if... See what he see what his reaction is, because I um, that's one way to prove out that he proved it out. Mr. Ortiz screwed his ex-wife over and got caught, and now he's having a nervous breakdown. I don't, I don't I'm like I don't even how what do I how do I even react to that? How the fuck do I even react to that? I I mean I don't even. Uh. Okay, so here's all this. Every time you contact me, we get more. Because you were told to stop. You're caught. When you're caught, that's when you stop. And if you can't tell that you're caught and you can't... Uh, you don't know when it's time to stop. Not that you should do that anyway. You, you, go, you, know, you don't need to run for anything. If you want to run for governor, go run for governor. And leave everybody in Oklahoma the fuck alone. Nobody's bothering you. You're getting caught bothering me. So if you don't like getting caught, stop bothering me. I'm not to be broke. I don't know how much more... How many more times do I need to say that for you? You're going to get caught as long as I'm broke. You're going to get caught as long as you're invading my privacy. You're going to get caught as long as you're bothering me. You're going to get caught as long as Charles Perry keeps contacting me. I am not your attorney. I'm not getting paid 500 bucks an hour to answer your questions. Do not bother me with your questions again. Go to your attorney. It is inappropriate for you to ask me this stuff. Get away from me. You get the fuck away from me. Leave me the fuck alone. Uh, tomorrow is not going to be any different than today or the day before that or the day before that or the last 10 years. Uh, why would it be? Why do you, I mean, manage your expectations right. If it hasn't been this, if, if you get caught every day for 10 years, tomorrow is not going to be any different. Everybody wants you gone. Why can't you get that? Everybody's sick of you. Why can't you understand that? People don't like suffering. Why can't you get that? What, what kind of metal slow can't get that by now? We're tired of it. Everybody's sick of you. So leave everybody alone. Okay, also, quit letting having somebody let the air out of my tire. Quit doing it. You're caught. Stop. Leave me alone. Oh, I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No, zero minutes. I don't want to ever talk to you. I don't want to hear your voice to you. Please what, what don't happened? listen. Please what leave happened? me alone. Please leave me alone. Please, leave me alone. Please, uh, stop following me. Call the cops. Stop. I don't. Stop talking to me. Please. I can't live here anymore. Please stop. Me. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this again. I moved twice to get away from Charles. I never want to hear what he thinks. I never want any contact with him. I don't want to fuss. I don't want to fight. That's why I moved. I went to a lot of trouble to completely uproot my child and move to a new town and start all over again, twice. Fabian is in Dallas. I did not want to leave him. I had to, to be safe. I came home to my family. If you're being harassed in Oklahoma, Mr. Perry, go home to your family, or well, shut up. You're not, you don't go to a state where you don't live, cause a whole lot of uh, financial and physical injury, and then when somebody's screaming at you, leave me alone, claim you're being harassed. Get the fuck out of Oklahoma. Go home to your family. Go home to your family. What's happening is you're getting caught, and that's it. No one is harassing you. If you, don't, if you get harassed in Oklahoma, then go to Texas to your family. That's what I did. People, I mean, people laugh at you. You're so full of shit. It's like, that guy must think I was born yesterday. We hear it all the time. They're tired of you lying. It's not working anymore. They're tired of it. So stop. When you're caught, that's when you stop. If you're not smart enough to figure that out, you can't run for anything. Not even dog catcher. Leave me alone. Well, I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No, leave me alone. zero minutes. I don't want to ever talk to you. I don't want to hear your voice. See you. Please what, what stop happened? blessing. What
Okay, he's harassing her, just like you're harassing me. Girls screaming, leave me alone, get away from me, is not harassment, dum-dum. If you don't know that, you can't run for governor. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please huh? stop following me. I won't call the cops. Stop. I don't. Don't stop me. Please. I can't live here anymore. Please stop me. That's no, why no, I will. No. Leave me alone. I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No. Damn it. I don't want to have your voice. I don't want to hear your voice. Do you? Please what don't happened? bless me. But what please happened? leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please huh? stop following me. I won't call the cops. Stop. I don't. Don't stop me. Thank you. 